Hey y'all, welcome to Ms. Clark's chemistry class. We are finally gonna wrap up electrons. We're gonna be using wavelength, frequency, and the speed of light to solve problems about electrons. Let's just jump right into a problem. Our first example of a wave problem states, what is the wavelength of a wave having a frequency of 3.76 times 10 to the 14 hertz? It's important to label your given. We have a frequency of 14 hertz. In the question, it mentions wavelength. We're gonna use the formula speed of light equals wavelength times frequency. And this is what the formula looks like. So the speed of light is C, wavelength is Greek letter lambda, frequency is Greek letter nu. Lambda looks like an upside down Y, and nu just looks like a V. We use the formula for speed of light. Speed of light is 3.0 times 10 to the eight meters per second. I just put that where C is for the speed of light. And then we're solving for wavelength, so I left Greek letter lambda for wavelength. You could put an X if you like X better. That makes us think of algebra. And then we've got frequency, Greek letter nu, and I put the frequency from the problem. That was the given number in the problem. We need to solve for wavelength. So we need this problem to say wavelength equals. So we wanna get wavelength all by itself. So let's rearrange this. So to get lambda by itself, wavelength, we needed to divide the speed of light divided by the frequency, or 3.00 times 10 to the eighth divided by the 3.76 times 10 to the 14th. When we put this in the calculator, we get the answer to be 7.98, three sig figs, because our given number had three sig figs. 7.98 times 10 to the negative seven meters. Let's do another example. This example, we're gonna be given the wavelength and we're gonna solve for frequency. So we're gonna use the same formula. Speed of light equals wavelength times frequency. Let's set our problem up. So again, we're gonna put our number for speed of light, three times zero, zero times 10 to the eight meters per second. This time we inputted our number for the wavelength because that was the number given to us and we're solving for frequency. Now we want this to say frequency equals. So to do that, we are going to divide. After we rearrange our problem, we've got the speed of light divided by the wavelength. Let's take notice that our given number only had two sig figs. So our answer needs to have two sig figs. So we put this in the calculator and this is what we get. Frequency equals 4.3 times 10 to the 20. Now let's look at those units for frequency. We can either have per second, that's one divided by second, or hertz. Because remember, frequency is how many waves pass by per second. Now, if this seemed a little complex, it's because we haven't practiced enough. You really, really, really need to practice this process several times. That's why your teacher assigns multiple problems, because it takes practice. You're never good at something the very first time you try. And if you need to watch this video again, don't be afraid to do that. It's going to take a little bit of practice, but I know you'll get it. So leave me a comment and tell me how you're progressing. Don't forget to press the like button. Also, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Until next time, bye y'all.